You're all very welcome to join me for another beginner's yoga practice. And my name is Emma Watson. And um, for those of you that don't already know me, I teach um, Hatha Yoga and Yin Yoga and Pilates at our Bermian Leisure Centre. And hopefully we will all be joining again and connecting again on the mat very, very soon. Hopefully soon. Today we're going to really start to look at a little bit of anti-arthritic exercise, okay, really helping to support our joints to improve the flow of synovial fluid through the joints so that we can really help to lubricate our joints to help to reduce pain and inflammation in the body to help promote a sense of calm and ease and can really help us to sleep. But as always, we're going to start off. Yoga is a very harmonious practice where we really connect our breath to our movement. And then again, we finish off with our breath during our relaxation phase, which really brings the awareness into our bodies, aware of how we feel, aware of how our breath feels, how our body feels as we move in and out of each of the exercises today. And remember, it's very important, I'm not with you, so listen to your body. How does it feel as we flow in and out of each of the asanas or the anti-arthritic exercises this morning? You're welcome to join me sitting uh, in any position that feels comfortable for you. You can also use a chair for the first part of the class if it's more comfortable. But we want to start off at the back, nice and long. Feel a nice length into the sides of the body. A nice length into the neck, reaching up through the crown of the head. And we can tip the chin gently down towards the chest. The backs or the palms of the hands can rest on the knees. Or you can allow those palms to face up, which leaves us open to receiving in yoga. The thumb and index fingers may want to touch to connect to your chin mudra, which uh, taps into a part of the brain to help to bring a little bit of peace and calm into the body and into the nervous system. So as we start to settle into this lovely sitting posture, this meditative posture, the eyes close. And we want to bring our awareness to the nostril tip and aware of the rate, the length and the depth of each and every breath that we take. Aware of each inhalation and each exhalation. And with each out breath, think about letting go of any tension, allowing those face muscles to relax, the shoulders to release away from those ears. Becoming friends with their breath, aware and noticing that breath. Then think about creating a tiny little space in the lips, as if you're holding a tiny sheet of paper between the lips. And we breathe in effortly, effortlessly through the nostrils. And then we slowly exhale through those lips. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through those slightly open lips. Each time you exhale, feel the touch of the air, of the breath leaving the body and visualize it as a fine golden thread and this golden thread of air extends out in front of you the exhalations are slow and unhurried taking a little bit of time to Release and let go and come into your true self. Now 
the end of this golden thread with each out breath that you take. Face any worries or concerns that you have in your lives right now. like to imagine a nice little basket floating around in front of me ready to accept any of my worries or thoughts or strains or tensions. Without speeding up the breath, continue to watch this basket. And the beautiful thing about this is we can start now, start to observe our concerns they're now externalized, they're no longer in the body as we have exhaled any tensions, any stresses. And then we decide where we want to put these concerns, these worries. It's also up to you whether you want to or you choose to take any of these thoughts back into your body. Golden thread breathing, a lovely way to release tension, anxiety, even to release thoughts in your mind. If you have a lot going on right now, take a few minutes to tune back into the breath, to the now, to you. Can gently open the eyes. And we'll start by just circling those shoulders, guys. Letting a big smile cross the lips, cross the face, into the eyes, wakening up all of those face muscles. And we change direction. If the shoulders were circling forwards, they now circle backwards, and vice versa, if they were circling backwards, they circle forwards. Just letting go of any tension in the neck and in the shoulders. And we're going to get stuck into those lovely anti-arthritic exercises. And we're, we're going to work from the bottom, from the feet up. So if you lengthen through the legs, these um, exercises are very accessible for everybody, guys. They're very gentle, okay? And we want to find that nice dundasana. So we lengthen those legs out in front of us. And we press out of the hands, lengthening up through the body. And we start to gently just point and then flex through those feet. So point the toes away and then we flex the heels. So this is stimulating energy and circulation into those ankle joints. You feel this in the ankles, you'll feel it in the back of the heels and the Achilles. And we tend to do each of these exercises, these gentle exercises for to eight or ten breaths each, really starting to bring a little bit of heat and energy into the joints as we work through them. Remember, start to lift gently through your pelvic floor muscles to support your back and your spine, and always keep lengthening up through the body but dropping through the shoulders. And we can start to circle those feet now. The legs might want to go a little bit wider as we start to make big circles in one direction with the feet. Starting to bring your awareness into maybe how each of the joints in your body works. And we change direction. So yoga is all about balance, bringing balance into the mental and into the vital part of our bodies and our energy. So waking up the toes, waking up the ankles. And again, one more time, we change direction. If you're really good and focused, you can take one foot in one direction and one foot in the other direction. It's a bit like rubbing your belly and patting your head. So warming into these ankles, guys, and last time we changed direction. You might start to feel the front of the feet saying hello as well. We're really working into the core and supporting the back by keeping that length into the spine. And we can let those legs relax. I'm moving on to the knees now, making it moving up into the body. 
bring that right foot up and we're going to cross that right heel over that left knee. And we can keep holding on to that right foot, right hand onto that right knee and we start to make circles with that right knee. So the knee is a hinge joint so it doesn't move in many directions okay. So this is lovely for stimulating into the kneecap, working into the ligaments of the knees and we're trying to circle that kneecap. Again, lift and lengthen through the spine, warming into that knee joint and we change direction. So trying to circle that knee joint in the opposite way guys. And remember to keep your breath nice and slow, nice and controlled. And remember we don't have to do harder postures in yoga all the time. And this is a lovely little class to just really help stimulate the joints of the body so that we can support the muscles and support our posture better. Then we're going to draw that right knee in. You may want to place your back against a wall, okay, because we're going to do a little bit of core work with the next knee exercise. Or fingers behind, well, fingers behind the knees, whether you're sitting against a wall or you're propped on those buttock bones. You can press away through that left foot. Lift that right knee up a little bit, drawing the knee close into the chest. And we're going to really make use of that hinge joint. So the shoulders are back and down. Inhale, pointing through the right toes, and as we exhale, we bend through that right knee. You might start to feel all sorts of little crunches into the knee as we start to simulate, stimulate the um, production or the flow of blood and energy through that knee joint. A few hinge lifts and drops. You can allow that breath to be smooth and rhythmical, or you can let each breath lead into each movement. Just a few more stimulating that right knee, guys. Inhale, we point and we bend. If you wish, point those toes. Then as you exhale, flex the heel and bend. Inhale, point through the toes and lift. Then exhale, we flex and we drop. Two more, pointing and lift. You might start to feel the knees starting to getting a little warm now. Last one, point and lift. And we flex and bend and draw that right leg away. You may want to lift up through the spine, bend through those knees and slowly forward fold, allowing the belly to soften onto those thighs, just to take a little rest from the lower back. And you can gently drop side to side, guys. Even directing the breath into that lower part of the back. Shoulders are relaxed, they're heavy. And we can roll back up for the other side now. So again, find that lovely Dandasana, that sitting posture, posture, onto those buttock bones, lengthening through the spine. And we can draw that left leg up, crossing that left heel over the right knee. And again, we're grinding into the buttock bones, left hand to left knee. We can hold on to that left foot and we gently start to circle that left knee joint. A little bit of work into the hips as well, but really stimulating the knee. Lifting through those pelvic floors or Mula Bandha, not allowing the back to collapse. And we're really starting to work with our posture as well as we work through these exercises. And we can change direction. Lovely circles with the knee. And if it's sore with that left ankle across the knee, it doesn't have to be. It can be beside anywhere that feels comfortable for you guys. And then we can release that left foot. Draw that left knee in. Again, you might want to support the back so that you have a little bit, so it's a little comfier on the back. We're hinging back, flex through the right foot, fingers under those left knees, shoulders are back and down. And as we inhale, we point through those left toes. And as we exhale, we flex, really working into that lovely hinge joint of the knee, pointing and flexing. There's going to be a tendency to draw the shoulders up to the ears here. So Keep thinking of lifting up through the chest, softening through those shoulders. And again, and you can, if you have any knee problems, you can, or hip problems, or any sort of little aches and pains in any of the joints, you can indeed pick a few of these exercises and spend longer on them so that they can sit your individual knees, guy or your individual knees. We can add a little. A little flexion in here, we point as we exhale, flex the foot and drop the knee or drop the heel. Inhale, point and lift. 
exhale we flex and we drop and again inhale point and lift exhale flex and lower inhale point and lift core engage guys exhale flex and lower and again point and lift and flex and lower and last one we point and lift and we flex and we can lower and release that left leg down Again, we can bend the knees gently so the belly can soften down over those thighs. And we can gently shimmy side to side. Gentle anti-arthritic stimulating yoga exercises. So we're going to move on to the hips a little bit. So if it feels good for you, take the legs nice and wide. Doesn't matter how wide they go. We're starting to work into the waist and into those hip joints. If it feels good for you, flex those feet, guys. Keep pressing away from those legs, lifting and lengthening. And we can bring those arms out to the side. Big inhale, we lengthen as we exhale. We bring right hand towards left foot. Inhale back to the center. As we exhale, left hand towards right toes. Just gently reaching. Inhale, center. And exhale, we twist. Left arm can draw back. Inhale back to the center and exhale, we twist. Tuning into your breath, allowing your breath to have its own length, its own rhythm, just not forcing the breath. Remember, in yoga, we want to free or extend the breath so that we're really utilizing all three sections of our lungs. Exhale, we can twist. Inhale to the center as the hips start to open, you might feel. That you can go a little bit deeper, guys. Inhaling and exhaling. Pressing through the feet if the hamstrings are tight, we can gently bend those knees so that we're taking stress off the lower back and off the hips. Inhaling to the centre and exhaling, we twist. Or you can keep pressing away from those feet, which are going to open up into the hamstrings and into the hips as well. Few more guys, exhale, twist, inhale, center, exhale, twist, inhale, center, last one, exhale, right hand to left foot, inhale to the center, and exhale, left hand to right. Inhaling back to the center, allow the arms to soften, and we can bring the soles of the feet together now for another hip one. The body might start to be warming nice and, nice and quickly now. Now for cobbler's pose, we want to bring the heels close up to the pelvis. If that's not comfortable, please draw them gently away and find a space that is good for you. The further away those feet are from the pelvis, the easier it's going to be. You may want to, again, sit on a little blanket for these exercises, especially if you have any sciatica. Um, or you can set your hips up a little bit so that you're drawing the chest gently forward. And we start to butterfly those knees. So we draw the knees up towards the shoulders and then the knees drop back down towards the floor. The closer the feet are in towards the pelvis, the more likelihood that you're going to round through the spine. So remember that lovely thread reaching up through the breastbone, lifting that chest up, lengthening through the side body, just gently dropping the knees and then lifting those knees back up. You're going to feel this lovely stretch into the inner thighs, opening into the pelvis. Yeah, over 20 muscles in the pelvis. So we're starting to condition all those little muscles, as well as that lovely pelvic girdle, one of the, the biggest joints in our body. Then we can draw those knees down gently. And you can hold or we can hinge forward, elbows to the knees and encourage those knees down just to where you feel a substantial stretch or pull in the inner thighs. The palms can face up, we can drop our chin towards your chest and allow the shoulders to relax. Just taking a few breaths here. Directing your in-breath to those inner thighs, your adductors, where you're going to feel that stretch. And as you exhale, think about letting any tension disappear from that area. And you'll find the pelvis and the lower back start to open. And you may go down a little bit further, guys. 
You can surrender the head if you wish, or keep lifting up through that chin. Slowly rolling back up now. And we can bring those knees in, and we're going to roll over onto our knees. To work more into the knees, but also into the, the ankles and the toes again. So we're tucking those toes under. This is a yin pose, it's not, it's not that nice, but it's lovely for the toes and the feet. And we're going to take the hips back to the heels. You might want to stand on the knees to get into this posture first, as we step that right foot forward. Left toes tuck under, think of that lovely alignment. And if you wish, draw the right heel back. And we set the hips back on towards those left heels. Hands can go onto that right knee, keep lifting and lengthening through the spine. And instantly you're going to feel those back toes say hello. They're going to feel a little bit crampy as we start to stimulate and push the blood and the oxygen into the toe joint. Shoulders are relaxed and down. You're going to feel this, guys. A few more breaths, inhaling. Keep lifting and lengthening through the side body as we exhale. You can soften those shoulders down. Slowly pressing forward now. Hands either side of that front foot. Draw that front right leg back. And we can give the front of the feet a little tap. Easing out the front of that back left foot. And then we can come back to the heels, stand on those knees, and we can step that left foot forward. Right toes are tucked under. This might be enough for you guys. You might feel the stretch into those back right toes enough. Or you can slide that left heel back and set those hips down Ooh, onto the right heel. So again, we're lengthening those back right toes or starting to say hello, guys. Whatever legs back. Shoulders are back and down. They're going to want to creep up. And it's amazing how the tiny joints feel, feel the sore sometimes. A few more breaths. Really working into this stretch, easing eye tension in the toes and the feet. And we can roll back up. Oh, that's I didn't like that very much. On top of the toes and give those feet a little bit of a tap. Sitting back now onto those heels. We are nearly there. We're going to work into our wrists next. We have done this before. Beautiful anti-arthritic exercise for the wrists. If sitting on your hunkers isn't comfy, find an easy cross leg position. And we put our thumbs into our palms and wrap those thumbs or those fingers around and we start to flick. And we usually flick for up to a minute. So we want those flicks to be really like you mean it, flicking the fingers in and out of the palms, stimulating the fingers, stimulating the wrists, stimulating the elbows, a little bit of the shoulders as well. And we again want to draw the tailbone gently under, so we're lifting pelvic floor, lengthening through the spine, but dropping through those shoulders. Halfway there, guys, we can start those flicks to go a little bit faster. You're going to feel one hand starting to go to sleep, so you're going to have to really focus on pushing those fingers in and out of the palms a little bit more. Flicking, flicking, flicking. Ten more seconds. I'm terrible at counting. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and arms up. Do you feel that lovely, fuzzy, warm sensation? That's our prana, that's our energy, that's our chi, what we work with in yoga. Arms can come down now in line with the shoulders as we bring our fingertips to our shoulders. Elbows are lifted. Again, we're going to move into another hinge joint, which is our elbow joint. And we flick those fingers from the shoulders and out, keeping the elbows nice and high. Really starting to bring a little bit of fluid, synovial fluid, into those elbow joints. Flicking, flicking. And again, you can go as fast or as slow as you wish here, guys. You're going to start to feel the shoulders maybe feeling a little bit heavy now. Keep softening them away and down and keep tuning into your breath. And really focus on the joints that we're working on. So how do your elbows feel? How does each of the joints, how have they felt as we've moved through their range of movement in this lovely anti-arthritic practice? 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax those arms down. They may feel heavy and warm and a few little tingles, which is lovely. Staying seated on your hunkers or easy cross leg. I'm going to bring that right hand on top of the left as we open into the shoulders and the neck now to finish. Finish off around the arthritic part of the class. As we inhale, reach those arms up. And as we exhale, reach those arms out to the side, guys. Inhaling arms back up, but this time left wrist is in front of right. And as we exhale, those arms come forwards and down. Keeping left arm in front, inhale, we reach up, keep drawing shoulders down. Exhale, we open. Inhaling back up, this time right wrist in front of left. And exhale, arms forwards and down. Right wrist in front, inhale, we lift and lengthen. Exhale, open through those arms, guys. Inhaling left wrist in front of right and exhaling forwards and down. Let's add, inhale, reach up onto the knees this time. As we exhale, reach those arms out if you wish, lift the chest, the chin lifts up. Inhaling, we reach up, left wrist in front of right and exhale, arms forwards and down, hips go back towards the head. Inhale, we reach up, up onto the knees if it feels good. Exhale, open those arms. Lift the chest if it feels good. Don't allow the back to collapse. Inhale, left wrist on top of right. And as we exhale, arms down, toes under, hips back to the heels. And again, inhale, we lift up. Exhale, we open. Lift the chest if it feels good. Inhale, we reach back up, left wrist in front of right. And exhale, hips go back to the heels. Warming into the shoulders, guys. Inhale, we reach up. And exhale, we open. Inhaling, right wrist in front of left. And exhale, on top of the toes and hips go back to the heel. Keeping those arms there, inhale, we reach those arms up. And we reach up towards the sky. Drop those shoulders down. Let's bring that right hand down to the side. Maybe pressing into the fingers as we bring that left hand to the right ear. And slowly drop that left ear over towards the left shoulder. If you wish, you can press into the fingertips of the right hand. Keep the shoulders back and down. We're really stretching into the neck joints, guys, where we carry so much tension into the neck and the shoulders. If you wish, you can walk those fingertips out and lift that right arm up. And you're going to start to feel little niggles into the neck, into the top of the shoulder. So we stay where we can feel that little stretch. Keep softening the shoulders down. We can reach through those right fingers and gently circle those arms. Making tiny movements with that right arm. Making the circles as small as you can. A few times in one direction and a few times in the other direction. With each out breath you take, you might find that the neck starts to open a little bit more. You can play around with that arm. Maybe you can drop it down. You're going to feel a different place to feel a little bit of stress or tension in that shoulder. And again, you can start to circle and changing direction. We can release that right ear. Let the head go back to the centre, hands to the thighs, as we gently look left and right over those shoulders. And you'll feel, you should feel a nice opening into the right side of the neck as we have released tension into the neck. Back to the centre now, core engaged, left fingers down, right arm reaches up. We can bring right hand to the left ear and allow right ear to drop down to the right shoulder. Left shoulder is soft and heavy, allow the shoulder to drop down. Really pressing into those fingertips. If it's not comfy on your knees or your feet here, guys, go back to easy cross leg. And if you wish, you don't want to roll over. You want to keep that lovely length. And if you wish, you can lift that left arm. Reaching through the arm, find that little space where you feel that first sensation, that stress or tension in the shoulder. And we start to direct our breath to where we feel that tension. So stretching away from that left arm, we can start to just make tiny circles. Allow the shoulders to feel heavy. Directing the breath into the left side of the neck, guys. Changing direction. You may feel the neck start to open a little bit. 
really energizing stretching into the neck and the shoulders and really all of the anti-arthritic exercises are lovely for energizing and stimulating the flow of um, circulation and blood and energy through the body. You can change position of that arm if you wish and start to circle again, tiny, tiny movements. Delicious for neck pain guys, for tight necks, tight shoulders and we change direction. And very effective and very gentle for everybody. And we can release that left ear, bring the hands down to the thighs again. And again, we can look side to side, guys. And hands now, let's go to tabletop position. And let's put all of that into work, see how we feel. So with the hands underneath the shoulders, toes tuck under, hips back to the heels. Really spreading through those hands. Trying to gently roll those inner elbows forwards. Shoulders work away from the ears. Ardha Mukha Shavasana and on an inhale, we lift those knees up. Encourage the chest towards those thighs. Pick the bottom bones up. The knees stay super soft, guys, and we press those bottom bones back. Lay any high or low blood pressure. Keep the eyes looking between the thumbs. If not, surrender the head. Look between those those knees or those feet. Strongly draw the shoulders from the ears, wrapping the corners of the armpits towards each other. There should be very little body weight onto those hands. If there are, you'll find that the shoulders are too far forward, so we need to deeper in the bend in the knees and bring length to that upper body. You tune into your breath. Notice how we feel in this lovely upside down shape this posture with each inhale the bottom bones lift up the hamstrings open as we exhale see if you can soften those heels down and slowly dropping dropping to the knees dropping that's a new word standing on the knees and we're going to step that right foot forward because the hamstrings are probably going to feel a little bit tight find that lovely alignment heel and line the knee and line the hip Fingers either side of that right foot and we slowly start to open into the hip joint more and the back of that right leg by flowing, leading breath, inhaling into our low lunge. And as we exhale, stretch that right leg long. Inhaling low lunge, you might want to tuck the left toes under for a little bit more support. Exhaling right leg long. And as that leg goes long, you're going to certainly feel the muscles that we're working in this lovely little movement, moving asthma, moving, moving exercise. The next time that right leg is straight, keep it there. Remember your alignment. You don't want the hips to be back to the heels, hips in line with the knees. And we want to engage that thigh. Depending on the hamstrings, you might want to keep the right knee soft. Or we draw that right hip bone back, left hip bone forward. And you're going to feel a nice opening into the hip, into the back of the leg. We want to lift that right thigh away from the knee. Up onto the fingertips so we're not collapsing in the chest. Keep threading chin towards right toes. Chest towards right toes. You'll certainly feel that stretch and then we can soften forwards and down over that right leg, guys. Eyes and chin can continue to look forward to lengthen through the chest or soften the chest down over that right leg. Shoulders are relaxed. Directing the breath to the back of that thigh, to the hamstrings, muscles. If you want to try a little bit of balance, you can reach those arms forward. The thumbs can work down as we wrap the arms around the back of the body. Find that bind and we roll those shoulders back. Oh, had a little wobble. Or you can keep hands onto the waist, rolling the elbows back. Finding those stabilizing muscles to keep your body nice and stable. Release that bind if it's binding, hands either side of that right foot. Slowly roll over again, launching onto low lunge. And on an inhale, we sweep those arms forwards and up. Exhale, drop the shoulders down, right hip bone back, left hip bone forward, and allow that pelvis to feel nice and heavy, guys. Mula banda, pelvic floor is lifted. In this pose, think about dropping down through your bottom two rib cage, your ribs and your rib cage, so that we're not lifting the chest up. 
Shoulders are away from the ears, really think about those hips. Allowing each out breath to soften you a little bit further down. Big inhale, we reach up, exhale, hands down to each, either side of that right foot. Draw that right knee back and hips go back towards those heels. Standing again, back up onto the knees, the toes tuck under, the left foot steps forward this time. Find that lovely alignment, heel, knee and ankle. Hands either side of the left foot. Inhaling, nose over toes. And as we exhale, that left leg goes long, flex the foot. Keep trying to draw the right hip forward, left hip back. Inhale, we sneak forward. Left toes may be unhooked. And exhale, that left leg long. Sorry, right toes may want to be unhooked. Inhale, we roll forward. And as we exhale, draw those hips back, guys. Slowly inhaling forwards, exhaling back, you're going to start to feel the hips open, the hamstrings stay hello. So the next time that left leg's long, we're going to stay here static. So the left knee may want to be soft or engage that left thigh up onto the fingertips. Right hip forward, sneaking left hip back, instantly feeling the hamstring, the back of the thigh say hello. Flex through that left foot, lift up and lengthen. And if you wish, draw the chin forward, the chest forward, draw the bottom bones back and you can soften the chest forwards and down. Taking it to where you feel a point or you feel that stretch, that sensation and you stay here, respecting your body, respecting to where it wants to go today in each of the poses. With each out breath, you may open up and go a little bit further. You, you have to say when's enough. If you want to add a little balance, we can reach those arms forward. The thumbs work down as we wrap the arms around the back, either holding on to the elbows or binding, again, opening the shoulders, rolling those shoulders back and down. Keep your gaze forwards and down, that drishti, that focus. Or you can soften chin to chest and forward fold a little bit more. Deepening the stretch in that left hamstring, opening the shoulders and the chest a little bit more. And we can release that bind, hands either side of the left foot, left foot flat as we lunge. Inhale, sweeping the arms up to low lunge, right hip bone forward, left hip bone back this time. You're going to feel that nice stretch into that right hip flexor inner thigh. Shoulders are back and down, dropping down through the bottom two ribs. And as you draw those ribs in, you're going to feel that lovely core connection in the belly. Tailbone shines under, shoulders are square. Alignment in Hatha Yoga, very paramount. But we all have different bodies, so our alignments are all completely different. We can bring hands either side of that left foot. Draw that left knee back, hips go back to the heels, spread through those hands, up onto the knees, bottoms up, bottoms back, or to Mukha Shabasana, dog head down. Let's move a little bit as we inhale, drop to the knees. Untuck those toes as we exhale, scoop tailbone under, round through the spine as we drop chin to the chest. Inhale, the toes tuck, tailbone works back, belly drops down, chest threads through and then chin looks up. As we exhale, bottoms up, bottoms back, Ardha Mukha Shavasana, keep looking between those thumbs. Inhale, we drop to the knees, untuck those toes, exhale, scoop tailbone under. Feel that spine start to open, mobilize, chin drops to the chest, last, keep it here. Inhale, toes tuck under, tailbone works back. Core engaged, belly drops down, shoulders thread back as chest threads through and chin lifts. Exhaling, bottoms up, bottoms back. Few more of these, inhale, we drop to the knees. Exhale, untuck, scoop tailbone, round through the spine, drop chin to the chest. And as we inhale, those toes tuck, tailbone works back, belly drops down, shoulder blades squeeze, threading the chest through. Last time, bottoms up, bottoms back. And we settle here. How do the hamstrings feel, guys? How does the body feel? Starting from the hands, those fingers are wide, pressing into the pads of the fingers, index fingers in line with the wrist bone. Cupping the hands into the mat, the inner elbows gently roll forward. The shoulders roll away from the ears, the backs are wide. 
The knees may want to be soft, picking up the bottom bones and drawing those bottom bones back. And as we inhale, drop back to the knees. The knees can go wide as we drop over onto the bottoms and swing those legs forward. Now, just one more posture, one more little anti-arthritic exercise for the lower back, okay? So we ease down to our backs, guys. Now, if lying flat on your back is more comfortable, please don't be lifting the lower back away from the mat. If it is okay, we want to draw the tailbone back so that you can feel a hollow between your lower back and the floor. So think of scooping the pelvis back, the chest lifts up and the shoulders roll down. The arms go behind the head or out in line with the shoulders. The pelvic floor is lifted. You're going to feel gentle compression into the spine. The feet are nice and wide, guys, as wide as your mat. Remember, if you prefer, the back stays flat. And we slowly start to drop the knees side to side into window wipers, varied window wipers which really helps to work into your kidneys, strengthening our lower back, stimulating our adrenal. And as the knees go one way, the head can gently drop over to the opposite shoulder. Next time, both knees are over to the right, slip and stay there. Drawing that left knee down, peeling the left buttock away from the away from the mat a little bit more, peeling the left side of the back up a little bit more. But wrapping the left side of the chest over towards the left a little bit more. If you think of this as a twist, so we're really stimulating and releasing all of the tensions and toxins in our digestion, in our intestines, in our stomach. Keep lifting that left hip bone up to deepen the stretch so the left knee drops down. Shoulders are relaxed, keeping that lift on the spine, inhaling eyes and head back to the center, knees to the center, exhaling knees to the left, eyes to the right. Drawing the right knee down, you're gonna feel the stretch into the right thigh and the hip flexor. And we really wanna to start to lift that right hip bone up. That's gonna engage the right buttock, the glute to encourage Stimulate that right kidney. We're lifting the right side of the body up. And we're wrapping the right side of the chest over to the, over to the right to deepen the stretch a little bit. With each in breath, we can lift that right side of the lower back up a little bit more. With each out breath, we can drop the right chest side of the chest round more. The shoulders are relaxed. Inhaling slowly, draw back up. Release the lower back to the mat and we bring our knees into your chest and gently circle those knees a few times in one way, in one direction and a few times in the other direction. And we can bring the knees into the chest and then draw the knees away. We can start to add a little bit of momentum so that we're making tiny little rolls. Now, if it doesn't feel good, guys, just draw the knees to the chest and away. You know your variations. Knees to chest, knees away. Or gently adding that little bit of momentum. Ease is out the spine from the cervical spine and in the neck, right down to the lower lumbar spine and the tailbone into the lower back. You can roll up to sit. If you're still on your backs, guys, feet on the floor, roll over onto the right side, left hand under our shoulder and press up to sit. And join me in easy cross-legged position again. Sitting on our bottom bones once more time. Lifting and lengthening through the spine. Let's bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your lower belly. And we'll finish with a little bit of breathing, pranayama. That lovely technique to free our breath, our energy around the body to every cell in the body and the brain. 
the shoulders relax, we can close the eyes, we can work into our thyroid by dropping our chin to your chest. Chin gently draws back. And as we inhale, breathing into the belly, feeling the hand rise that's over the belly. And as we exhale, gentle pressure on that hand, drawing the belly back towards the spine. Belly breathing, guys. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. Belly rises. And fall. We bring your awareness to the hand covering the heart. And we're breathing into your heart, inhaling the heart expands. The lungs expand to the side. And exhale, feel that contraction all around the side, body and the heart as it draws back to the spine. Trying to keep that breath where the upper hand is, guys. Starting to lie different sections or lobes of the lungs. And combine this breath as we next inhale, the belly rises and then the chest expands. As we exhale, the belly falls and the chest relaxes and softens. with your breath, allowing it to have its own length, its own rhythm. Taking time to tune into you, your habits, your breathing rate, and your thoughts. Bring your hands to the knees and tune back into the now breath, just noticing the breath as it enters and leaves the body, through both nostrils. Aware of how you feel in comparison to the start of the class. Just with that gentle anti-arthritic, anti-yoga practice. open the eyes, bring your hands to the heart centre, we seal the practice. Thank you so much for joining me today guys, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of um, joint stimulation and improving the functions of our joints through gentle yoga practice. Hopefully I will see you all in person very soon, I know we will, it's getting closer. We can bring our thumb knuckles to the heart as we lengthen and Again, we drop our chin to your chest, activating our thyroid, our, our, our throat lock. And we join in with that lovely universal ending or closure to yoga, that mantra. Namaste.